Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Perro. Friends and family gather today for a memorial ride and drive in honor of Jody Bevins. The ride to keep her memory alive coincided with her birthday. She would have turned 60 years old today. Bevins was murdered in her Palo home in 2022. More than a dozen motorcycles set off from the Oxford American Legion. They paid tribute to Jody and celebrated her life and memory on the back roads. They stopped at Wild Hogs Walford, the Swisher American Legion and Sutliff Tavern before ending at the Solon Legion. During the ride, they stopped for a balloon release. The group wrote messages on those balloons to send them to her in heaven. Well, she was a nurse, so she just cared for everyone and helped everyone. Um, she was director of nursing for the Shellsburg um, uh, nursing home, so she just kind of cared and just cared for everyone, helped everyone. She always had a smile on her face, and whatever you asked, she did for you. The memorial ride raised money for Waypoint Services, which helps those impacted by violence. They held raffles and 50-50 drawings at each stop and handed out prizes at the end. Last month, the jury convicted Bevins' stepdaughter, Samantha Bevins, of first-degree murder. Prosecutors say she and her boyfriend, Dakota Talley, suffocated her and killed her. Talley was convicted of first-degree murder last year. He's currently serving life behind bars. Jody's family says they feel justice was served. Sam acted like a victim. Sam acted like she was the victim. But we are. We're the victims of this crime. She committed it. She's the criminal. And so I found, you know, being happy is a choice. And you have to, you have to make a choice to be happy and to find peace in your heart. Sentencing for Samantha Bevins is set to take place this coming Friday in a Benton County courtroom in Iowa. First degree murder carries a mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole.